world full of revamping our whole division and it being October, NXT 2.0 presents to you Halloween Havoc. I'm really excited. There's only four matches. We're gonna have a good time. Welcome to another episode of King Talk Wrestling and we are predicting NXT 2.0 Halloween Havoc and we are starting about this is, this is actually NXT 2.0's first NXT's TakeOver special! I'm really excited, that, that's a big deal, like, oof, really excited about this. So there's only four matches, so this is going to be a quick video, but here we are predicting Halloween Havoc. So let's start with the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship. So we have the defending champions Io Shirai and Zoe Stark taking on Gigi Dolan and JC Jane against Indy Hartwell and Persia. Pro to? I don't know how to say her last name, I'm just called Persia or Indy Hartwell's real life best friend. So, I will say, I hope that JC Jane's okay. She took a very scary fall last, well, two days ago, because I'm filming on Wednesday, so Tuesday, last night, whatever. Took a nasty fall. She was going for a dive, and her feet got stuck between the ropes, and she fell, and she was taken out of the match. I was like, oh my god, I hope they're still in the match on, like, next Tuesday, but I'm thinking she's okay. I'm really excited for this match. I like that there's multiple competitors for the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. I mean, I would have liked the mid-card title, but I can't have everything I want. But I don't see EO and Zoe retaining their titles. I think Indy and Persia are going to take them. I think that now that, you know, the way is... I wouldn't say that the way is broken up. I would just say that they're kind of like on their own separate patch right now. We saw Johnny's actually going after the North American Championship. Candice is at home because she's pregnant. Austin moved out to the main roster. So Indy's kind of lurking with Tag Team Gold. And I think this is where they actually put the titles on them. I think that they really want to build up Indy to be one of the next big woman stars in NXT. And although I probably would have showcased her against Raquel in this current pay-per-view, I thought that would have been a little bit cooler. Move Raquel up to the main roster and then keep Indy down in NXT and have her kind of lead this new 2.0 generation. I'm okay with Tag Team Gold. I think her and Perch actually make a really good tag team and I think it's really cool that they're best friends in real life because that's what makes the best tag teams, real life best friends. So I'm going with N New, Indy and Persia for your new NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Then we move on to the regular NXT Tag Team Championship. We have MSK taking on Marcel Barthel and Fabian Archer aka Imperium. So I'm not the biggest fan of Imperium. I've never been. I never will be. But the interesting thing about this is that the current rumor is that Walter actually may be coming to the States. So if you don't know, the reason why um, NXT, like Walter went to NXT UK is because he didn't have to leave home. He doesn't want to leave home. He wants to stay up in Europe. He doesn't want to move down here. And that's why he signed a weekly contract. But meaning that he lost the NXT UK championship, there's been heavy rumors that he might actually be coming down here and joining Imperium you know, to take over NXT. So if that does happen, I do see them winning the Tag Team Championships, but since there hasn't been a lot of rumors as elite, I don't see it happening. I also don't understand why we are booing MSK. Like, you didn't boo them when they were the Rascals and Impact. They're a very talented tag team, and they've had quite a year. They debuted, they, like, they debuted, they won, a to they won the Dusty Cup, they won the Tag Team Championships, like, they've had such a year. And this is really the year of MSK because I'm picking them to win. I don't see them losing as of right now unless, like I said, Walter's gonna come and then, like, re Imperium's gonna reform in NXT. But that would also mean that Walter has to win the NXT title, which I really don't want. So, let's hope a miracle happens. I'm going with MSK. For the NXT, this is a really short card. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I mean, they have two hours. Eh, whatever. So, for the NXT Women's Championship match, we have Mandy Rose taking on Raquel Gonzalez. So, this was interesting for me because I would, I didn't really expect Mandy to actually move down to NXT. But I will say that this was probably the best decision for her. You could see, like, how much more comfortable she is in this character and kind of leading her own stable. And she's kind of, she's teaching Gigi and Jay-Z, like, kind of the ropes and stuff, which is cool. And I think that this is the character that she should have had on the main roster. So eventually when the three of them do get called up together, because that's how I'm going to assume that the three of them will get called up together when the time is right, that this character is just going to fit right in. So for me, I don't see Mandy winning. Um, 
I just think that Raquel needs to do more with the title. I don't know. I just feel like her, I feel like her title run isn't like this momentous title run that we assumed she was going to get it stand and deliver. Like she, she, I feel like she just needs to be like shown more. I don't know. Um, I feel like it's like, I'm, it's the same thing with Lesnar. Like I feel like you need to show up every week and Raquel's not always there. And I just feel like more Pound of Feud would also help her as well. Um, it's not Raquel's fault. This is just NXT's booking. So because of that, I do see Raquel winning. And I won't... The only way I would see her losing is if she's getting pull, called up to the main roster. Meaning that the draft already happened and like she wasn't drafted. I don't see it happening. So I'm going to go with Raquel Gonzalez. And still. And for our main event, we have Braun Breaker versus Tommaso Ciampa. So this match is actually really interesting because... I like the Ciampa one, that Fatal 4-Way, I think it made the most sense for him to win, but meaning that this is NXT 2.0 and they are revamping the whole brand, I'm gonna go with Braun Breaker. I'm actually really, really high on him. I think his promo work's amazing. I think the stuff we've seen from him in the ring is super convincing, and you could, I could totally see them just like revolving the whole brand around him. I think that this match would be really good. I'm not too scared about it, that's gonna be like really, really boring. And I'm I'm excited. I think Braun's gonna win. I it just sucks because I feel like you know it would make sense for Mandy to win. <laughs> Same reasoning. But Tommaso doesn't need the title. And I think the thing that people forget is like Tommaso's not going to the main roster because Tommaso's body can't do what the main roster does because of his knee and neck injuries. So I'm gonna go with Breaker. Um, I'm probably gonna be wrong. Trump is probably gonna retain. But I do like to me. I just see this as like a passing of the torch. Like. You know, here I am, and like, look at all this stuff I did for NXT, and now it's your turn. Like, show the light, show everyone what NXT can do. So yeah. So there's a couple other things. Um, someone's supposed to debut, and like, they've been showing this vignette video of someone returning. So uh, rumors are Dakota, Dakota Kai, Elias. I think it makes most sense for it to be Elias, just because they were transforming his whole character. He dropped off the face of the earth, and he hasn't been drafted. So, and I think that NXT will desperately, like, it'll help him the same with Mandy. So, I'm gonna go with Elias being that, like, spooky, scary, like, vignette we saw the past two weeks. It's probably not. It will probably be Dakota. I don't understand why she wasn't drafted, but whatever. But yeah, so that's the Halloween Havoc predictions. Um, I'm actually shocked this card is kind of short. I expect, like, because usually NXT TakeOver are five or six matches. I know it's not a TakeOver, it's just, like, a special. But I was like, oh, four matches. It's a little weird. But yeah, so that's it for me. They'll pro meaning that this video is getting posted on Thursday, the card's on Tuesday. They'll probably announce like two or three more matches. I'll be like, oh, but I should have filmed this a lot later. But I'm bored on Wednesday because AEW is on Saturday. And that's it for me.